Hello everyone. I'm here as much as my head injury allows. Um, doing something pretty fun and quirky, which is to show you all this. You see this? This is Koya Tofu. Um, Japanese. Itadagimas. Mm. I do not have a microwave, so I had to figure out this double boiler situation. And, um, mm. Mm. it's very, ooh, I can like talk through it. It's like a astronaut food tofu. That is like remade with butter. Mm. <clears throat> mm -mm. Okay. This is one of my favorite new. Oh my god, I learned this from a uh, rice bowl channel. Oh my god. Mm. This is uh, just a freaking... Oh my god. Wombo and combo in. Yeah, I know. It's literally just the broth and the freeze dried tofu cubes. And you put them sort of together and either double boil them or put them in the microwave. So it's supposed to like just suck it up, but it's a trip. And that has become one of my favorites since I'm into vegetarian and vegan stuff the most, like as an honest fact of my life, that's become one of my favorite new Japanese vegetarian foods. Koya dofu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There's only a tiny bit left. It sucked up most of it. Is there anything else that reminds me of besides like the type of tofu that you put in like ramen like the i don't know i think i think the only reason why i think it has anything to do with kitsune is because it's like i i think i used to have it at an udon restaurant that it was called the kitsune udon when they had it with the whatever that other type of tofu is Ag age tofu pocket which is also super super good oh but that one that one is nice because it's got like very just like oh you're just having a thing like it's just a little plate of food um okay yeah koya tofu is you you definitely should try it and um 
Mm. Yeah, I can't wait to get like a good mushroom forage out here and make like vegan nigiri with it and make like I might be but like vegan with that type of plump foraged mushroom. Anyways, that was delicious.